Hello, this is Leo St. John, and I will be showing you how to create um, a Revolut motion. First, we'll start with some pieces I've already made. Uh, we'll put the cylinder out here. And then uh, we will add a spoked wheel. In order to create this joint, we're going to have to do two things. First, we're going to axial align this to the cylinder. And then we're going to want to mate the bottom of the spoked wheel to the top of the cylinder. And we can um, color the grounded part blue and the moving part red. so that it's easier to distinguish the two. Um, if you want to have things move in inches and degrees, or if you want it to be in millimeters and radians, if you want to change your units, you're going to have to do it here instead of in motion, because you can't change the units in motion. And then we go to motion. When it asks you if you want it to automatically do things, you usually want to click yes so that it automatically assigns you that revolute joint. If you need to create a revolute joint, it's this first one right here. Oh. We edit the joint. Um, revolute joints only rotate and they only go about one axis. Um, we are going to displace this motion in a step function. Now, this is set up so that it's only one second long. So from zero to one second, we're going to have it move from zero degrees to, let's say, 90 degrees. Let me click the check, OK, and then start the simulation. As you can see, the spoked wheel is going to revolve on the axis that was decided by the axial alignment. If you wanted it to move more, you could have it move 180 degrees in one second. I guess that's not going to work. But that would be how you do it. I have a feeling that this is just messing with me. If I try, it'll make me upset. So uh, if you want to spin it the opposite direction, you can set it at negative 90 degrees. Check OK. And then start the simulation. That didn't work either. But I hope you understand that it would work if this computer wasn't <laughs> testing my patients. Oh, yes. So um, that's about all you need to learn about Revolut motions. It's very simple.